find the range of k to keep the system shown in figure to be stable. So we would find the k value. This is a closed loop system, negative feedback, h of s equal to h of s equal to s minus 1 upon s square plus 2s plus 1. g of s equal to k upon s. Therefore, closed loop transfer function, p of s equal to t of s equal to the closed loop transfer function is 1 plus g of s h of s k upon s multiplied by s minus 1 upon s square plus 2 s plus 1 that is equal to k upon s whole divided by s multiplied by s square plus 2 s plus 1 plus k multiplied by s minus 1 whole divided by s multiplied by s square plus 2 s plus 1 this is getting cancelled therefore k s square plus 2s plus 1 upon s cubed plus 2s square plus s plus ks minus k that is equal to k multiplied by s square plus 2s plus 1 s cubed plus 2s square plus 1 plus k multiplied by s minus k so, the characteristic polynomial is denominator, is the characteristic polynomial. So, this is the characteristic polynomial. This is the characteristic polynomial. The roots of that characteristic polynomial must be on the left hand side for stable system. So, now we will apply Routh array. We got the denominator polynomial for that uh, S cube. So, we have to form the Routh array, S cube, S square, 1, 2, 1 plus k, minus k. S power 1 is 2 multiplied by 1 plus k, minus of minus, plus k, divided by 2 that is uh, so this becomes s power 0 is k minus k therefore this must be this column must be positive all elements in the column must be positive that's that's why if you take this uh, minus k should be greater than 0 or k should be less than 0. That is the first condition. k must be less than 0. If you consider this uh, 2k plus 2 plus k divided by 2 must be greater than 0 or 3k plus 2 must be greater than 0 or k must be greater than minus 2 by 3. So, the value is lies in between 0 and uh, minus 3 by 2. The k value must be 0 and minus 2 by 3. The range of k for which the system is stable is minus 3 by 2 to 0. If it is in this range, then the system will be stable. system will be stable. To make uh, s power 1 equal to 
zero, what you will get? If you equate three k plus two equal to zero means k equal to minus two by three. So for minus two by three, it will exhibit sustained oscillation. Minus two by three, it will exhibit sustained oscillation. <laughs> Minus two by three, it will exhibit sustained oscillation. If you want to find the frequency of uh, response, you have to use S square two S square minus k k equal to what two by three minus two by three equal to zero or S square plus two by three equal to zero. S equal to plus or minus. 1 by 3 square root of 1 by 3 or that is equal to j 1 by 3 yes equal to plus or minus j 1 by root 3 plus or minus j 1 by root 3 that is the frequency of oscillation 